Okay, if you've got a sore, achy shoulder around the back, like sort of from the back of the shoulder blade down to the back of the arm like that, it could be one or two things. Now, this might be you if you've had a previous shoulder injury or previous shoulder surgery, and you're sort of down the track and you're doing a few weights or you're playing sport and you've stopped doing some of your rehab perhaps. What you can get is a tightness ache through here where you sort of want to dig in and get there and it's hard to get rid of. Now I'm going to show you a few things to help sort of fix that, like a band-aid if you like, while you get your rest of your rotator cuff a little bit better. One of the main reasons is this section here, your infraspinatus, so that lateral rotator cuff that sits on your shoulder blade is weak or you've sort of, you haven't trained enough and you're doing pressing and pulling work, maybe even pressing overhead and it's just not handling it and that's getting sore and trigger pointy, so that's one thing. The second thing, what the body tends to do is use the posterior delt and even the mid delt here and down into the tricep to compensate. So if you've got a weak rotator cuff here that's struggling a bit and you're trying to do heavy load movements where you use the deltoid to pull back and forth like that or lift up or press, the deltoid's gonna work harder, okay? So it's gonna get you know, really tight and trigger pointy and achy through there because it's trying to do a little bit more job for the lack of rotator cuff. So there's a fix for that. First thing, release it. Second thing, exercise it. So if you think the muscles that are tight and trigger pointy and achy, release those and then exercise them. What I would do first is use a trigger point ball to get most of it. So I'll show you on the mirror here. What you're aiming for with the trigger point ball is go for the sore spots. Now that may vary with different people. Some people, they need to go right to the back of the infraspinatus and find those really grotty trigger points. So if you imagine that shoulder blade is like a triangle like that, okay? You'll find there's spots in that triangle where you've got natural trigger points, especially down the bottom here. So if you go right down the bottom, there's a natural little trigger point there where you may feel. It depends on whether that one is your achy one. If you get into that and you feel that starting to give you that ache, then you know that's the right thing to be on. And you want to start rolling around and putting some body weight through until you get that nice, good pain pressure. Okay, so not nasty, oh, horrible pain. It's a good, tolerable pain that feels like it's relieving and then you're on the right spot. Now, you can either stay there on that spot. So if I get that sort of down that trigger point, can I just stay there and bring on some of that sort of achiness, that good pain, if you like? Or do I need to sort of roll around, nudge back and forth? Think of like if you've got some dough and you're trying to roll it out with a rolling pin, you're trying to just go back and forth, back and forth until it flattens out a bit. That's the concept. And so you can also roll around. Now, what I'm doing is basically just squatting, if you like, up and down to roll the ball. But I'm trying to keep the pressure on through the glass by pushing through my foot. And so I'm leaning on that, but being a bit of pressure. The more I push the foot, the more force I get through here. So I can just relax this arm and then roll around on it and try and find those spots. So your infraspinatus is probably the one you want to hit with the ball. If you find the ball is quite helpful, and that's maybe that's all you've got. It could be a tennis ball, it could be a lacrosse ball like this, which is really hard. You then go down to that deltoid and try and find a spot. Now, with the deltoid, it's really easy to roll off it. So you have to go a little bit slower and have to move around and try and just hunt around until you find that spot. Be wary though, I don't mean going up onto the bone, okay? So remember that triangle again? You don't want to be hitting the bony parts, okay? So don't be confused when you hit bone and feel like, oh, that's the spot really sore. You're probably just pushing soft tissue into bone, okay? So try and be within the muscle tissue on the actual flat part or the blade of the scapula, not the sort of border of the scapula, if that makes sense. So the same thing too, be careful when you get right up into the top of that, all right, right beneath that acromion, it might be a little bit sensitive there. So try and stick down on what you're trying to go for, which is deltoid, all right? And if you get down to that point, you may just have to lift that up and go down. Now what I find is when it gets down the tricep, it gets really wobbly and starts rolling off. It's very hard to try and find that spot. So what you can use is a mini roller like that, which is just a foam thing, and that's super easy to then push a massive pressure through there. And again with this, what I can do is rotate my arm until I get that really nasty spot through the side of the tricep, sort of down, right down that lateral tricep there, and get up and down and relieve all that sort of overused part of my arm and get stuck into that to try and release. And again, gotta be good pain. It's gotta be relieving 
nice stuff that you feel like, yeah, that's where my ache is. I want to try and get rid of that. And then when you finish, it should relieve it and feel a little bit better, ready for exercise. Now, if you don't have one of those, a simple rolling pin, like you know, your kitchen rolling pin or something like that, something that's hard that you can put and then roll up and down. Super easy. Maybe it's a one of those metal water bottles. Anything you can find to give you that rolling effect so you can just stay with a constant pressure and come up and down. Now that's really effective stuff. It really relieves off all that tightness that's coming through. But remember, that's just a really quick band-aid fix. The real thing that fixes it is what you're trying to get back in the first place, which is the actual cause of it, which is the weakness. Okay, so remember, symptomatic relief is great, and relieving that with a little roll at a ball is fantastic because that helps you feel less, you know, less pain and feel better. Don't stop at that. You've got to go back to the cause. That's the weakness, the stuff you haven't been doing, right? So I would get your band, trusty band out. Remember, bands in Australia is yellow is the weakest, then it goes red, then it goes green. So you've got to choose what's appropriate. I'm going on green today. So I would aim for the two things that you've just been rolling out, okay? Rear delt, a bit of tricep, and your external rotator cuff, which is infraspinatus and your teres minor. So when you're doing your deltoid and your tricep, I would probably aim for double. If you're really weak, you should go for single. But hey, you should be down the track a little bit, so double is usually fine. Put around a pole, doorknob, something that's not gonna move. I like using these sort of tubing bands. They just don't perish when they go around a surface, okay? So when you've got a tube, they don't cut in and perish. They seem to last a lot longer, and it's really easy to make handles, like make knots at the end. So go for tubing if you can. Double hand in there. And then when you're working on this one, you've got to try and resist the temptation to bend your elbow, all right? So when you pull down, you've got to pull back first and set your shoulder blade back into retraction. And then you're going to swipe down and pull that way and then return and come back. And of course, if you do that, and you're going, oh, I can't do it, or the double's too hard for you, or you go down to a red or go down to a yellow, okay? I like having doubles, it's a lot easier. Sort of gives you that nice resistance, but make sure, pull back. When you pull through, this is where the tricep comes in. So don't use your bias and pull through, okay? Resist that temptation, because it's, it's gonna roll your shoulder forward, so you've gotta keep that tricep on, full elbow extension, back, hold, return, and release. Okay, so you're really isolating the top of that tricep, which is doing that extension of your shoulder. You're isolating that rear delt, and it's just basically pumping up the tires in the back here and making that feel heaps better. You're getting a lot of blood flow through it, and that'll start reducing that sensitivity and the tightness through that part which you've been sore in. Second thing, external rotator cuff. Go down to a single band with this one. Now, I like, especially when you're sort of, not advanced rehab, but you're, you're down the track a little bit, is don't bother going down here anymore, okay? This is for beginner stuff. You need to be up at a functional press pull position. So I would be at about a 45 degree angle, pulling backwards. Now make sure this one, Again, this is halfway between a control and a strengthening exercise. You're trying to use rotator cuff to control the ball. You're also trying to use rotator cuff to externally rotate. You're trying to get some strength out there. You're trying to pump the tires up in the back of the shoulder blade there. So this section gets stronger, gets more tone, stops aching, especially when you press forward and pull back. So imagine that arm is not directly out from the shoulder. It's a little bit forward. I'm on a, like an oblique 45 degree angle onto that band and my arm is like on a bleak 45 degree angle down that way, okay? That's a rough guide, you can vary it a little bit, but that's sort of like your ballpark. And then from there, haul it backwards. Get right back here, see if you can get past that sort of 90 degrees. Try and aim for full range in your shoulder, back to there, without sort of, you know, lurching and compensating. So it's just repetitions up, big squeeze back, Work on your core, keep that whole thing in line so you can just isolate right into there and you're gonna feel that smack bang where you've been aching. Obviously, don't do much, so much that it aches again. Okay, you wanna try and reduce ache with exercise 
and try and work on those two things like that sort of band affix to get that thing back up to speed and then you gotta think, okay, I need to work on a little bit more scapular rotator cuff work down the track because that's what happened in the first place. See how that goes, see you next time.